So today we'll be trying to figure out how to take the sticker off the old one. Uh, this is where I did the 1000 degree knife challenge. Uh, but we're going to figure out how to take this sticker off. Um, and I have the new one here. And then we're going to take this one off the best way without fucking that one up. The same way I did with this one. So right now I'm looking for a heat gun. A lot of stuff back here. I saw one here the other day. So we're gonna. Here it is. Um, I'm gonna try setting this up. See if this works. Hopefully, it don't shoot no flames and burn that, and it just comes right off. So I'm gonna set you up and hope that you guys can see it while I try to get this off. So set you right here. Let's go. I've never used this before, so. This is really hot. I think it's melting it into there. So let's Find a screwdriver and then we'll heat this up more because that's it's actually not kind of okay so I actually think this is the best way to go I realized I don't have to heat it up as much as I thought so I'll show you right now I'm gonna try taking this corner off right here uh, so About there's right. You won't burn anything. And that's all you need. You can just scrape it away. As you can see, I got all that off. don't need very long on there at all. So, I'm just doing this for practice right now, I guess. Once this whole thing's done, I'm going to attempt that one. I feel pretty confident. Thank you. 
figure out how to get all the glue off of here. It looks like by heating it up more, it just absorbed into here. But the sticker that I'm putting on here is a little bit smaller. It's probably like that, right there. So I'll still see some of the sticker or where the glue was and I don't want that. So right now we're going to figure out how to get the glue up here. I'm going to do a little corner. Hopefully. <laughs> Like it did anything it's really hot all right so yeah that didn't do anything we'll try rubbing alcohol on this see if that takes it off I don't have any uh, adhesive uh, remover that might work a little bit better so I'm gonna go find this stuff and I'll be right back. Okay, I found some rubbing alcohol. I have a cotton ball here. Uh, I'm gonna try swirling it around on just this one little corner. Then we're gonna let it dry and see if that did anything. This is getting darker. Hoping it's working. Just doing a little slow motion. Stink really bad.
I tried to get the adhesive off. Um, I'm sitting in my bed right now. Uh, but I'll show you uh, the different places and things that I use trying to get it off. Um, it didn't come off as well. So I'm hoping that the 7.3 has a different type of uh, rest, or not rest, sun visor. And I'll be able to put that other sticker on there. But this was paint thinner right here. Uh, this is rubbing alcohol. And that's uh, Gojo. I was hoping that the little grit in it would take it off. But it just stains it. So I'm going to take this one and put this sticker over top. It'll fit over top. You can read it. Alright, so we're going to go install this in the truck right now. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys out there. But first, you got to watch a little bit of 3D machines. I still can't see anything. So, we're going to go after this video. Okay, uh, we're in my truck now. I'm going to put the sticker on. I didn't want to do it inside just because I don't know if my, my mom probably wouldn't approve of it. Even though she's going to watch this video later. Um, I'm going to take the top of it. Put it on there. And then pull it down. And hope that works. Uh, that's what you. Or what I did with the graphics kit. Well, not graphics. But. Uh, stickers. For the back window. I'm not sure if you guys have seen it before. Or if I made a video on them. on there and it looks pretty good uh, if I need to I'll take a heat gun to it and just heat it up a little bit so the adhesive sticks in there more but now we have to figure out How this thing goes in there because this is the new one probably could have done this first So, uh, my multi-tool fell apart, so I'm just using the 12 gauge, uh, probably a measuring tool, I don't know what it's for. And I'm just going to start these threads since the plastic is actually threaded too. Uh, I have no clue why. And then, uh... We're going to try sticking it up there and hopefully it starts threading in easily. I'm going to try to get as many reactions about this sticker as I can. I think it's funny. Maybe it'll work. You never know. So this one threaded in a lot easier than the other one. And you can really uh, move this thing around to help you out when you're putting it in there. So 
that one's threading right in. Actually, I think that missed. It's on. A screwdriver would have definitely been a lot easier. I don't have my drill in here, but I do have tea. Yep, that's good. I'm trying to line the seams right back up so we don't get any like overhang or we can see where the old one used to be but it don't look very good uh, I think it's good tightening this one down I gotta do this one Hopefully I installed the sticker the right way. Let's see. Fuck. We need to redo this. That's better. So, from the passenger seat, I gotta move it back just because this is where it normally sits. You're on my forehead right now. You can see it pretty well. Because when you're sitting in the driver's seat, these stickers look a lot different. I kind of like the look of not having any sticker on it. But this will be like a teaser. I might take those ones off. Yeah. Then you can see where my hat hit right here after working on the farm for a while. So that'll wrap up this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know uh, what you guys think of the sticker. So like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.